Hi, this is Roger from Cancalabs and today a short presentation of our new frame antenna which you can see here. This is the first uh, production model after about a year of uh, thinking how we would manage this. You can see it here uh, connected to our AM antenna tuner and our universal uh, crystal radio set and a uh, two kilo ohms uh, headphone. So um, just to give you a few explanations, as you can see, I've put it here on a, what I think is called in English, a lazy Susan or turntable or potter's wheel or however you call it. Uh, that's quite, that doesn't belong to what we, how we sell it. Um, so you can get cheap ones uh, from eBay or Ikea. And um, well, what is it made of? It's uh, the uh, it's made of acrylic. The central across the central frame. It has um, 500 millimeters uh, diagonal. Of course, it's wound with uh, Litz wire. In this case, uh, 19 by 0.1 millimeter Litz wire, and. Um, it is uh, scaled or designed for uh, medium wave and long wave. Um, the basic inductance is calculated for a 500 picofarad uh, variable capacitor to give uh, you the full AM frequency uh, range. And we have put an extra coil here if you use the middle um, connection, then uh, the inductance is the right one for long wave reception. Um, we sell this as a kit and as readily assembled. For the kit there will be an extra video how, um, how you can uh, build it by your own. It's of course all open source. We will in a few days uh, put the design files for the acrylic parts uh, online and well, uh, we have designed it in a way just to give uh, the uh, highest Q factor possible so that the proportions are still uh, relatively, uh, that it's uh, in, in my opinion relatively good looking. Um, what else can we say? Um, we have um, made it in a way that um, the, uh, the combination of the Litz wire and of the, uh, of the distance from turn to turn is in a way that a skin effect and proximity effect are about the same. And we were uh, very happy that at our first attempt we were able to hear half a dozen stations with a crystal radio, so without amplification. Um, the reason is that frame antennas have, due to their large diameter, they get a lot of um, a lot of energy from the magnetic field, um, and the the energy that is received by a frame antenna is proportional to the third power of the diameter. Uh, so we were quite happy that already this uh, 50 centimeter diagonal or 35 centimeter uh, diameter, if you take it from one edge, from one side to the next, that we got a lot of uh, stations. And depending on the uh, success of this um, first model here, uh, perhaps we later will also build a larger once, um, but anyway, we are quite content with uh, this first model and uh, it really makes fun um, to listen to AM station now here in, in Europe or especially in Germany where you don't have a single AM transmitter anymore. Uh, that we immediately got BBC and a, a uh, East European uh, and a French and Belgium uh, transmitter at our first attempt. So uh, that was it for a short presentation of our new acrylic or I think it's also called Perspex in uh, America uh, of our acrylic frame antenna. That shall be it for today. If you want to know more about the theory why frame antennas are so good and why it's advisable to put them on a turntable or lazy Susan 
Um, just take a look at our uh, long-running video series about AM resonant magnetic antennas where all is explained in detail what's important about uh, resonant loop antennas and that was it for today thanks for watching until next time take care bye from Roger bye from Kanka Labs <laughs>